Want to get this bomb on the tower if possible, and then the Mighty Miner threatening the, the opposite lane. Yep, Mighty Miner is threatening on the opposite lane. Yep, he forgot about that. And look at how much damage we got with the Mighty Miner. That's insane. What's up, everyone? It's Turkey here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be completing it competing in the double evolution royal tournament that is going on today and i'm just going to be playing as many wins as i i can get and putting those in the video so my goal is to get at least 15 wins um in the global tournament and we're just going to post all of the vods here so um i'm going to be running goblin drill like i mentioned and it features the evo bomber and the evo tesla and i currently think that goblin drill is the most rounded win condition in the entire meta so that's kind of why I'm running it. I'm running it with the Dagger Duchess, and I'm just going to see how many wins I can get. So the deck is going to be on the bottom left of the page. I'm going to log here just to reset this. It was pretty smart of him to go in because the Dagger Duchess was low on ammunition, but we're fine. So yeah, I made a video about this deck recently, but I genuinely think it's one of, if not the best deck um, for the tournament. So if you still haven't competed in the tournament yet, Maybe give this deck a try or check out um, a video I posted recently with my top five decks. Ice Spirit here just to kind of like protect that. And I'm going to Goblin Drill in the back actually and then pre-poison on the Evo Bomber. He should have to play something else. Yeah, perfect. That's the thing about Goblin Drill is it's like actually so hard to defend well. Okay, and he gets the King Tower activated, but we're going to get a bunch of damage with our Evo Bomber because I don't think they're going to predict it. This deck is so strong, it has like two win conditions. I'm going to Ice Spirit just for the Cracker, or Skeletons for the Cracker, maybe. I was going to say, you have Evil Bomber, you have Poison Cycle, uh, and you have Goblin Drill as the win condition. So this deck is seriously just like, unstoppable. I mean, it's not actually unstoppable, but it's really, really strong. So yeah, right off the bat, you can see we're just kind of dismantling our opponent here. We haven't even had to do too much. I'm kind of just multitasking. Yeah, I'm going to go like this. And pressure both lanes. Goblin Drill should take care of most of that. And he starts to respond to the Mighty Miner. Nice. So he goes for a defensive drill. And at this point, we're just a few poisons away. So long as we don't succumb uh, to their pressure. So he goes for the Little Prince ability. I'm going to go like this. Pull in the Mini P.E.K.K.A. with my Skeletons. And then the Evo Bomber just to help out with everything. That Tornado was really bad. I'm going to Goblin Drill in the back just to mix up the placement. And then pressure with an Ice Spirit. Mighty Miner in front of this. Poison onto everything. And at this point, we're just like one poison away. And you can see why Goblin Drill is so strong. Most people genuinely struggle to defend against it without taking any damage. Like, if you place it in the front like this, you almost have to predict, not almost, you have to predict the placement in order to take zero damage. So you can see here, we completely dismantled this first guy. Obviously, the matches are going to get a lot harder as the tournament goes on. But just like that, we're 1-0 in the tournament. So we're going to take this dub, and I'll go ahead and catch all in the next one. All right, into our second game of the tournament here. And the reason I love this deck is because I genuinely think it's right in the middle of, like, not being too difficult of a deck to play, but also still just being really, really good. Like, there's almost, like a push and pull of how easy a deck to play is with how good or high how this high how high the skill cap is and genuinely with this deck it's like not too hard to play and the skill cap is actually very high as well so it has a low ceiling but it has a really no a high ceiling and a low floor is what i'm trying to say so anyways this guy looks like he's going to be running like royal recruit spam like fireball bait um so that's going to be annoying but like i said and i believe this deck has incredible outplay potential we're gonna get a lot of poison value if we play our poisons well. I'm gonna skeletons here for the lumberjack, and we don't have our Tesla in cycle. But one of the cool things about the Goblin Drill is it works pretty decent on defense. And I'm actually gonna go like this and pop the ability. I actually didn't need to do that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> all good, all good. Um, doesn't get the King Tower activation, and we're gonna get one Evil Berry shot. So that's nice. Looks like he's running... Yeah, I've seen this deck before. It's like Lumberjack, Balloon, Fisherman. I actually made a video on this deck a while ago. So, not bad, but with the Evo, Tesla, and the Goblin Drill, and the Poison, if we defend properly, we, we should be able to win this matchup. And when in doubt, you can just cycle a Berry. I expect him to go, because he's leaking. I expect him to go for Evo Recruit soon. I think he's just waiting to do that. Okay, he goes for the Skeletons instead. He might recruit in front. I would be okay with that okay he doesn't do anything dagger duchess does incredibly well against um the skelly drags when it's full 
Yeah, he goes in here. No surprise. I'm going to pop the ability just to push everything back. Beautiful. And that's an easy defense. He ignored the Goblin Drill to make that push. And <laughs> you can see people underestimate how much damage the Goblin Drill does. Like, I'm an avid log bait player. Like, I usually run log bait. But for just one elixir more, the Goblin Drill is so much harder to defend. Like, I feel like the power of the Goblin Drill has kind of just negated the need for log bait. Like, it just kind of takes it out of the meta entirely. Granted, my opponent isn't playing very well. Like, you can tell... Not a lot of people know how to de defend against the Goblin Drill. Okay, I'm just going to take the poison here. Um, okay, yeah, he goes for the recruits. I'm going to pre-Evo Tesla. And I can play it high because I don't have to worry about it getting sniped by the um, Skelly Drags. And I'm going to go like this. And look at Evo Bomber go to work here. This is why we love the Evo Bomber. Beautiful. Okay. Evo Tesla going to take care of all of that. We're going to log. That Tesla was misplaced a little bit, unfortunately. But we can just go for another Tesla and a Poison, and they're not going to break through. And that hopefully goes to show why this deck is so strong. We're going to Skeletons here. And one Balloon Shot won't kill us, so... An easy win. I honestly didn't need to think too hard about it, so... Two win, two games, two wins. It's going to get harder. We'll catch you in the next one. Into our next match against Krico. And I think the reason I like this deck additionally so much is all of the cards in it are like so broken like poison i think is the best big spell i'm gonna go like this to get my king tear activated log i think is the best small spell goblin draw i think is the best win condition like it's just like the perfect storm evo berry is the best evo like you have all of the best cards in the game like working in synergy and i think that's what it ma makes this deck so good so yeah we're gonna get <laughs> extra chip damage on the tower and I, I didn't even have to do anything like it's just so good so anyways I know I'm just like glazing this deck so hard right now, but I swear it's so good. As someone who recently converted from log bait, I think this deck is amazing. Nice. So Dagger Duchess plus Skeletons, I believe, full counters a hog. So that's an important interaction to know. I'm just going to let this go. Okay. And then I'm going to put a Goblin Drill like on the side. So that way the Tesla doesn't hit it. And then depending on what he plays, I can poison. In general, you want to be passive with your poisons and single elixir. You really only want to poison something if they give you like really, really good value. Like here, he gave me the Knight and the Firecracker. So I'm, I'm apt to take it. Then I can go in with this Bomber here. And we're going to get tons of damage onto the Knight. And there's genuinely nothing he can do about it, really. I mean, let's see. Oh! Yeah, those, those berry hits ended up not connecting at the end, but because he couldn't support it with the firecracker, it's like, how is he supposed to kill the berry? He has an earthquake and he has a log. So knowing when you can go in for those berries at the bridge are good. And most of the time against good players, you'll only get away with one. So pick your spots wisely to go in for the berry. Okay, Goblin Drill on the front. So difficult to defend. It just feels like, I don't know, man. It's, there's something so satisfying about like playing a deck that's just like good in the meta. <laughs> Like, look at that. He spent four elixir on that, and it's still got, like, three goblin stabs. Okay, I'm actually going to go for a poison here. We're going to catch the hog as well. Yeah, I figured he's going to play something. Evo Tesla going to take care of all of that. Even with Earthquake, he, he's not going to get anything. Oh, actually, he is going to get a shot. I should have I should have played something in hindsight, but that's okay. My fault, my fault. We're going to pressure here, and we're going to be back to another poison for whatever he plays. Uh... I'm just going to let it go and cycle a log instead. Oh, poison on this. And then Tesla. Even if he earthquakes, it doesn't matter. And at this point, we're only a few Goblin Drill poisons away. And because we have the Mighty Miner down, our cycle is really, really quick. So that's nice for us. With the Since we're only three wins into the tournament, I don't know if this is necessarily the caliber of player that would predict the berry. So I'm going to go for it. I don't, like I said, I don't think he's the caliber of player that would predict it, to be completely honest. Yeah, and he didn't, so that's a good game. <laughs> and, um, yeah, kind of just dismantled against Hog EQ. Not the best example of the matchup, but a win is a win. So three wins, no losses in the tournament. We'll go ahead and catch you in the next one. Into our next match here against Ink, and we are... 3-0 and in the tournament. We're going to keep climbing. If I have a loss and it's a close loss, I might keep it in. Or even if I get destroyed, I might keep it in. Okay, so this guy's running the Evil Berry as well. Like I said, I think it's the best evolution in the whole game. So I expect to see a lot of it. And we don't get much drill damage or any drill damage, really. Okay. I'm going to go like this. Uh, I messed that up, I think. Oh, no, we're okay. Okay, so he's running a Log Bait variation. Dagger Duchess does really, really well against Log Bait. 
And this is what I'm talking about, like... <laughs> It's just so frustrating as a log bait player, like Dagger Duchess just essentially negates a lot of the strengths of log bait. So, okay, I'm gonna go like this just to take the shields off and then to pull these back. And then I wanna be careful with how I defend this to be completely honest, because it, it would be very easy to get overwhelmed. And I think the reason this guy's running this deck is because it does do good against the Dagger Duchess. Like any spam decks are very easy to overwhelm the Dagger Duchess because she runs out of daggers, so. I'm going to pressure with an Ice Spirit just to maybe make it harder to activate King Tower. Uh, yeah, he doesn't even go for it, so that's fine with me. He might protect this Princess, so I think I'm just going to go for a Mighty Miner here. And if he plays anything else, I could have popped the ability, but he doesn't. He will have to play something on the Mighty Miner. Hmm. Don't love that. I really don't. I'm just going to let it go. Dagger Duchess has a really fast fire rate, so I think it only gets like one shot. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Okay. I don't even need to go for log, but I'll do it. I think in the in the future I'm gonna start just playing skeletons. I went with the berry because I figured he was gonna play goblin gang or like a berry. Yeah. So Dagger Dutch is gonna clean all this up, and you can see we are in the lead. As long as we defend well on double elixir, we're gonna be okay. Okay, skeletons there to clean all that up. Now and now that we're in double elixir, I can hopefully get some really good poisons off. I just need to watch out for the recruits, those are always scary. I'm going to go Goblin Drill into this, and if he plays anything else, I can maybe get a nice poison. Evil Berry will full counter here. Oh, that is a good poison. We'll hit the Evil Berry. We'll hit that. We're going to pop the ability here as well. And go in on this side. Maybe a little greedy. I don't know if I needed to do that, but it's fine. Okay. We're going to just Berry in the back preemptively. I think I'm going to poison here like this. Kind of protect our Tesla. Tesla, like, is our second source of DPS. Okay. Hmm. That one Spear Goblin is kind of frustrating, but I'm going to go like this. And we're okay. I think going in on that opposite lane was a mistake. I, I, in retrospect, I wish I wouldn't have done that. I'm going to go like this. Hmm. This is a lot of log value. If I play it like this. Nice, and we do hit the princess very high here. And then while it's recharging, I'm going to go like this. And I think that negates most damage. So we're hanging in there despite it being like a difficult matchup. Not like a hard counter by any means, but the matchup is difficult. He's PMing me a little bit. So now I'm going to really, really try and focus up. We're back to another goblin drill because um, of our three card cycle. Kind of want to try and get like an Evo Berry lineup here. Mm, I can't really do it. We're gonna go like this. Okay. A man is BMing hard. Is what it is. Log here. Nice. He has to go for the defensive barrel. I'm just gonna pop the ability to take care of those goblins and maybe get that on the tower for a little bit of chip. I think he's gonna go in for a princess. I'm gonna go for the ice spirit. Doesn't play it, but that's still fine with me. There it is. How did I know? How did I know? Okay, triple elixir is definitely where this deck shines. Okay, perfect. Easy poison. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to be back to another goblin draw. I'm going to berry so I can save my log for offense. Evil berry does full counter the drill. I'm just going to start spamming drill poisons. Yep. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's where this deck thrives. Bad evil berry on his part. Perfect. And that's going to be a good game. Sorry, I kind of had to clock in a little bit at the end there and stop commentating. But uh, I really wanted to beat this guy because he was BMing. So not an easy win by any means, but I think we played it good. So 4-0, we're going to hop into the next game. Up against Murray Lowell. And hopefully as these games go on, I get a little warmed up because I will admit, like, I definitely didn't play that last game perfectly. But hopefully as the tournament goes on, it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, we're good. I remember how to play. Okay, I'm just going to take the poison here because I don't want to mess up this defense. Uh, I actually do mess up the defense. That's so funny. But it's not really going to cost us anything too great. In fact, we might even get a King Tower activation. Nah, we don't, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to pressure with the Goblin Drill. Cat's out of the bag. They're running Mega Knight. We have a very, very good matchup against Mega Knight. We have Mighty Miner, um, which is a really good counter to Mega Knight. Mm, I could Evo Berry on this. I'm just going to let it go. Well, now I have to play something on it, but that's okay. 
Ooh, okay, kind of smart of him to go in. Um, the only reason I say that is because the Dagger Duchess is recharging, so... I'm gonna Goblin Draw off to the side, so if he goes for the King Tower activation, maybe it'll mess it up or it'll pull it over. No, he does get the King Tower activation, so well played. That's kind of the one drawback of playing the Evo Berry, and I truly mean the one drawback is... On the counter push, if you're not careful, they can, careful, they can get a King Tower activation, but... We got a lot of damage, um, like, in trade for the King Tower activation. Like, we took a third of their tower, so that's usually worth it. I can always say if you can take, like, a third of their tower and trade for the King Tower activation, like, I do think that's worth it. Okay. And we're just going to keep on plugging along here with our incredibly fast cycle. I don't want to cycle... Um, my Mighty Miner is the one card that I really don't want to cycle. If he gives me poison value with this mini P.E.K.K.A., I'll take it. He doesn't. It's not worth poisoning a Mega Knight, I don't think. So I know this looks weird, but we're going to pre-Tesla, and then we're going to protect it like it's our baby. So we're going to go like this. We're going to Skellies. And you can see the other tower is helping out with the Hog Rider, and that's exactly what we wanted. Beautiful. I can just log here. I'm going to try and get my King Tower activated. Perfect. King Tower activation for me. And at the cost of one Firecracker shot, I definitely think that's worth it. He's pressuring really hard because I don't have um, daggers, but I can just get an easy log here, and it's not an issue. Ice Spirit here. King Tower activation. He might go in with a Hog here. I'm going to Tesla low. And I might need to go for a Defensive Poison. Yeah. Okay. Skeletons here. Perfect. Evil Berry. And Ice Spirit should clean all that up. So I like what he's doing. Like, that is one of the weaknesses of the Dagger Duchess, is if you, you can apply pressure the way that he is applying pressure. It's really good. Pop the ability. Ooh, ooh, bad Mega Knight. That Mega Knight's actually going to cost him the game. <laughs> That's crazy. So good game there. Um, probably our best opponent so far, but obviously... Just made a lot of mistakes. So GG's 5-0. and We'll catch you in the next one. Okay, into our next match here. We're going to keep climbing. I would assume we could maybe make it to 10 wins without losing. And then after that, it's just a toss-up. But we'll see. I could be wrong. I'm going to go for an Ice Spirit here. I don't think we've played against anyone yet that's running the Dagger Duchess, which is interesting to me. Since they gave it away as a Tower Troop for free, you would have thought that more people would be using it. Okay. And he... Again, ate a lot of damage there. Probably not intentionally. We're going to Mega Knight, or Mighty Miner to pull in the Mega Knight. And then Skeleton's High for the Valkyrie. Just to kind of, like, protect my Mighty Miner. And you can see how much of a positive Elixir trade we got from that Mighty Miner. That was absolutely insane. And that's another reason why this deck is so strong. Is the defense is so cheap and it's so efficient. Barry's going to get a lot of damage because the Goblin Drill is going to tank. And I'm just going to let it do its thing, man. Look at it go. Look at Barry go. And because he's playing RG, <laughs> I get this Evo Bomber here. And my man is just in trouble. Yep. Good Ice Spirit by us. And look at all of that Barry damage. That is unreal, dude. That is That feels so dirty. I like can't believe that that's a thing. I don't know why I played the Mighty Miner, the Miner there. Kind of just threw it away in a panic. So he'll probably just Mega Knight on it. Oh. Yikes. Don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, maybe he forgot I could pop the ability. We are only six wins into a tournament. And that's going to take a lot of the left tower. So if we do find ourselves in a two towers situation, we're good. I was going to say, I just need to be careful of the Mega Knight. I'm going to try and cycle back here. But I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure just to maybe force out the Valkyrie or something so we can't go crazy and support this Mega Knight. I'm actually going to try and get my King Tower activated. Mm, never mind. Scratch that. Scratch that. Go like this. And then like this. And I think we're alive. Yeah, we're good. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good way to handle the pressure. And at this point, I don't really see him being able to bring this game back. I'm going to put it like this just so he doesn't... He can't just plop a Mega Knight onto everything. And whatever he plays, I'm going to poison. Although he might have already given up. Yeah, it looks like they gave up. I respect that. Loki, I would give it up too, because this matchup is just abysmal uh, for him. So we're going to pressure. Just take this three crown. It's really important in the tournament to get as many crowns as possible, because uh, that is the tiebreaker between you and other players. Uh, if you have the same number of wins, uh, it, the tiebreaker is determined by crown. So GG is another easy win. We'll catch you in the next one. Cool. Up here against Tengu. 
Six wins, no losses so far. First person who's actually running the Dagger Duchess, so we'll finally get to show off some things against the new Tower Troop, hopefully. I'm going to go like this. Once the drill pops, go for the Ice Spirit to help freeze things. And he goes for the defensive E-Giant. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I really don't. Fortunate we have two buildings in our deck, so we'd have to make a pretty big mistake to allow him to break through. So building, I want to pull it like this, so that way both towers target it. And Dagger Duchess does incredible DPS onto that. Like, look at that. Oh, I misplaced uh, that tower a little bit, but that's fine. We're even on Elixir, and we found ourselves with a healthy lead. I'm going to go in on the opposite lane because he did play that bowler. So I don't want to give him any value. Nice. I could poison that, but I'm just going to chill, take my damage, and move on. Um, Mighty Miner here for the Golden Knight. Forgot the Dagger Duchess is crazy. I don't think that's going to line up. If it does, I can just pop the ability. Oh, it does. Oh. Wow. Bowler's Rain. Nerf Bowler, bro. <laughs> the Bowler's Rain was crazy there. That actually kind of irks me a little bit, but it is what it is. I'm going to go like this, and then Ice Spirit, hopefully... We'll jump on the archers. Not quite. Okay, here's what I kind of want to do here. I don't know if it'll work. Hear me out. Okay, we're going to go like this. And then I think Barry hits the tower from here. Oh, come on, Barry. Come on, Barry. No, it's missing. I really liked the idea. It's okay. It made him panic. That actually could have been so much damage. I just misplaced it a little bit. That's my fault. That would have been genius. That would have been genius. Okay. We need to watch out for big E-Giant Lightning pushes, but like I mentioned, we do have two buildings, so that helps out a ton. I'm going to go Ice Spirit here to support this drill, and I will take this Poison. We're about to head in a double Elixir, and you can see the Ice Spirit tanked for the uh, the tower there. That was really, really smart. So many little fun micro interactions that you can do with Goblin Drill that are just really, really good. I think he's going to Evo Archer, so I'm going to like Mighty Miner here. Yeah, he did. That's what I... I had a feeling he was going to do that to try and snipe the Tesla. So that's kind of... Not kind of. That's why I played it like that. Okay. We're going to go like this. Like this. And then I'm going to poison here. I don't really have a great other card. Um, I probably should have cycled back to Log in hindsight. But those were like one of the worst Evo Skeletons that I've ever seen. So I'm going to go in. I don't have poison to support this. But that's okay. Wow, that pulls back the... <laughs> <laughs> that pulls back the Electro Giant. We'll see if he's good enough to predict the berry here. I don't think he is. Nice. Get some chip damage there. It's all about chip with this deck. And it's going to be so hard for him to break through. Like, even with the Lightning, it doesn't matter. It just gets DPS'd down so quickly. And this is looking like it's going to be another win. Unless we have a defensive lapse, which could happen. Bowler is a really good option for the drill. So, like, he could definitely do some things. It's just, we can cycle drills so fast, like, if we really want to. Okay, we're already back to another drill. He does need to defend if he doesn't want to get completely obliterated. Yep. Okay. Okay, we're going to let that hit our tower one time, and then it'll be back on the Mighty Miner. He doesn't have Goblin Drill of his own. This is kind of scary, though, so I will go like this. And then Ice Spirit here. And then Skeletons. And then Evil Berry just to help clean it up. Take the poison here. Yep, great poison value. And Evil Berry survives. We're already back to another Goblin Drill. Oh, Evil Berry did not survive, but the pressure's on. Yep, yep. So hard to defend. And that, I believe, is Poison Log Range. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. I'm gonna go like this. It's definitely close. I'm just going to poison on defense just to make sure that we don't completely throw this game. Beautiful, beautiful defense all around. And we're already back to another poison, so GG's to this guy. Um, I think that was, you know, our matchup very, very strongly. This deck doesn't have a lot of bad matchups, to be honest. So GG's to Tengu. We'll take the dub and catch you in the next one. All right, 7-0 in the tournament uh, so far. We'd like to get to 10 without any, any losses, and Cannonair is a good sign. Cannonair definitely one of the worst cards ever against the Goblin Drill. But obviously, if he's, if he's a skilled player, it won't matter. Okay, I'm going to drop, go for my Mighty Miner here. Mm, I was thinking of Poisoning, but yeah, I don't want to overextend. Interesting. So I need a lot of Elixir here. 
It looks like it's Royal Giant, just from the looks of it, but don't know 100%. Nice. Okay. Forgot how good Dagger Duchess is, man. Bowler, one of the best answers in the game, too. Goblin Drill, like I said. I'm going to poison here and try and hit. Mm. I was trying to hit everything. I didn't quite hit everything. That's my fault, but... Um, almost takes care of the Mother Witch, so that's fine. Okay, we're going to Tesla really far, and then I am going to log to take care of the Mother Witch. Both towers are going to target and DPS down this Goblin Giant so, so fast. Even though I messed up the skeleton surround there, it doesn't matter. Wow. Okay. Another looking like another amazing matchup. That's why this deck is so crazy. We have yet to get what I would consider to be like a bad matchup. Okay, interesting play. Okay. Hmm, I see the vision now. Right back at you. Yeah, <laughs> he kinda panicked. I don't even think I was hitting the tower, but. And Bowler? I don't... Let's see. I think we still get a shot. Yeah, look how crazy that is. When you play the Bowler in the back like that, it doesn't full counter. So, well played by him with that evil berry. I'm going to get some damage on our tower, but we're still in a very, very comfortable lead. Okay. We're going to go Ice Spirit here. Berry down low. Every other berry we're going to play is evolved. So, that's huge. We also have the... Um, Mighty Miner, which is amazing. I'm going to take this Poison. It's a 4 for 4 trade. Yep. Beautiful. And that Goblin Giant isn't going to get anywhere. Even with the Lightning, it's like, okay, well. You're not going to break through. Blocking the Fisherman with those Skeletons here was pretty important, I would say. We can just Poison, even, even if he does Bowler... Want to get this bomb on the tower if possible, and then the Mighty Miner threatening the uh, the opposite lane. Yep, Mighty Miner is threatening on the opposite lane. Yep, he forgot about that. And look at how much damage we got with the Mighty Miner. That's insane. Mother Witch is going in the other lane, and now we can switch lanes. We can go into any lane, honestly. It doesn't even matter. At this point, we can kind of just cycle uh, spells onto his tower, and there's nothing he can do. That's the power of Goblin Drill. It's so fast. Bomber, Skeletons... And we're back to another poison. So GG's. Uh, another showcase of how broken this deck is. Uh, kind of just dismantled this guy. Definitely a hard counter. So GG's to this guy. Uh, we'll go ahead and catch you in the next one. Okay. Ain't no into our next match here against Deep. Uh, clan name against Gravity. Also running the Dagger Duchess. You know what to do. If he doesn't play anything, we're just going to cycle our berry. And even with him cycling the night, we're going to cycle our berry. Still really, really good starting play. And I'm going to go in in the opposite lane here. Okay, he goes for the Firecracker. I'm going to Poison here. Uh, most likely like Hog or something. I don't know for sure, but it just gives me Hog vibes. Okay. Barry's not going to get anything on the counter push, but we do get a little bit of chip with our Poison. And Goblin Gang. Yeah, it is Hog. Had a feeling. And I'm going to play Skeletons just to make sure. Yeah, Hog EQ. Okay, so Hog Earthquake. Um, if they play this properly, it can be a, a, a reasonable matchup. Like, it's not as good as you would think. Hopefully, we can get value on the night with our Evo Berry. And Evo Tesla is going to help out a ton against the Earthquake. You can play the Teslas high, like, out of Earthquake range, and it's a pretty good play. Just need to make sure we don't give the Evo Firecracker too much value. The question is, do we think he's going to predict my Evo Berry or not? Do I want to give him that credit that I think he's going to do it? I don't think so, the way he played that Tesla. And I'm going to try and predict the Firecracker like this. And we do. Just to get that extra shot onto the tower. Oh, actually, did we even hit the tower? It kind of looks like we didn't even hit the tower. Darn it. That kind of sucks, if that's true. We will get King Tower activated here, hopefully. Nah, not quite. So, Evo Berry just looks like it was out of the range of the tower, so that's unfortunate, because like I mentioned earlier, like, you usually only get one of those until your opponent wises up and starts expecting them, so... Uh, unfortunate, but I, I don't think at all it cost us anything, so we're fine. Okay, he goes for the Evo Knight. I'm actually going to go for the Mighty Miner, and I need to be careful of the Evo Firecracker here, because the Evo Firecracker Mighty Miner push is deadly, so... Or Evo Knight, fi Evo Firecracker. But he had, to, he had to spend a lot on that defense, so 
I'm fine with that. I don't think he can afford an Evo Firecracker and a Hog at the same time. We're going to Tesla High. Kind of to make it awkward to Earthquake if that's something that he wanted to do. Yeah, and he just Earthquakes on the Tesla instead of hitting our tower. So that is completely fine with me. We're probably going to get a good poison on the opposite lane here. And we're going to try it again. I really want this to work. Okay, he goes for the Hog. That was super well played. Probably had a feeling I was going to go for the Evo Berry. Nice. We're fine. At, at this moment in time, though, we are very, very fine. Going to go for another Goblin Drill, possibly a Poison. I'm going to pre-log. Mm, nice, and that Goblin is still on the tower. That's so crazy. Like, he played the Knight in front, but it just it just keeps hitting, man. I don't know. Poison here, because I don't have Log and Cycle. That's kind of one of the downsides of going for those pre-poisons. Is, uh, or pre-logs. Go like this. And then, like this, the Evil Tesla, kind of our get-out-of-jail-free card. And that Mighty Miner is still threatening. He misplayed a card. He meant to play Goblin Gang, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to hit we're gonna hit the, the gas here because the Dagger Duchess is out and he has a bad cycle. He meant to play Goblin Gang in the middle, but instead he played the Log, and we're going to capitalize on that. Perfect. So we have a healthy lead. Uh, momentum is in our favor here. Even if he Earthquakes, he's not going to break through. So that's fine with us. And he missed the tower. <laughs> so we're both kind of flubbing just a little bit. I'm going to drill in the front and then go for a preemptive poison because it'll hit the Tesla. And then, yeah, Goblin Gang or something like that, whatever he decided to play. And now we're looking really good. Dagger Duchess will full counter if you just go like Ice Spirit um, Skeletons like that. Beautiful. That It's just such a good troop, man. It's kind of disgusting. I can just go for drill poisons now and there's not a ton that my boy can do. It feels bad. And then we can maybe even finish him off here if I go like this. And then go for a, a Bomber. Just to clean it up. Bomber, gonna get two shots, and that's gonna be GG's. Pretty easy win against Hog EQ. Normal Log Bait struggles a ton with Hog EQ, but Goblin Drill, amazing. So GG's, we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, 9-0 so far. Going for a 10-0 would be pretty awesome. And then after that, just kind of doing our best. But we haven't really had any close games. Not in like a disrespectful way, but... Just kind of goes to show how good the deck is, I think. Okay, he goes for the Phoenix. I don't really have a great cycle for that. Like, Phoenix usually usually means Royal Giant. Um, so I don't know if I, what I want to do here. I think I just want to chill. Okay, yeah, Goblin Giant. Same idea. I don't think he can afford a Lightning right away, so I'm just going to go like this. It's actually better for me that it's Goblin Giant instead of Royal Giant. Because Royal Giant, they usually have Lightning for the Tesla, and then they have Fisherman for the... Mighty Miner? I don't think this deck will... Well, he could run Fisherman, but it's unlikely. Okay, Recruits come down. I think I'm going to Log. And then I'm going to Bury onto this side. And Ice Spirit as well. And that's why we love the Bury, baby. Look at it, look at it going to work. We're going to pull everything over here. And go like this with the Mighty Miner. Beautiful. And I'm going to Goblin Drill in the back, so whatever troop he plays, it pulls it to the back, and the Mighty Miner can pressure. If he plays anything else, I might poison. Oh, well, I'll just log. Oh, easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to log early, so that way the Dagger Duchess doesn't use too many of her daggers. So far, so good. Pretty good start. I feel comfortable with the matchup. Double Elixir might be a little scary. Uh, that's, Dagger Duchess kind of struggles a lot more in Double Elixir. So we're going to go like this. Pressure while defending, so that way he still has to defend, and then he can't dedicate a ton of Elixir to supporting his Goblin Giant. At least that's the idea, right? Dagger Duchess, yeah, we'll have some time to charge. And he does opt to, I guess, ignore the pressure. We'll see if it pays out for him. It might. I'm going to go like this with another Goblin Drill. Very down low. Defensive Goblin Drill is such a good option. Like, it's so helpful on defense. And you can see he ignored pretty much all of my pressure to make that push. And he got virtually no damage from it. So, was it worth it? I don't know. I don't think so. We're going to set up another defense here. Evil Recruits are out of hand. Just want to make sure I don't give him a ton of lightning value. Okay, I'm going to just take a poison here onto the tower, onto all of this. I do think it's worth it. And we're going to pop the ability. Log on this side. Ice Spirit to pull everything in. Maybe not everything. I missed the mini P.E.K.K.A. 
Oh no, 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 no. Mini Pekka could cook us here. Mini Pekka could cook us here. Okay. And the archers could. Oh, oh, oh. No, that one Evo archer. Oh god. Okay, this is problematic. But he's out of, um, I was gonna say he's out of daggers. So I don't know. He has to scar me on this. So if we pre-poison, I think we win. I think. I think. Virtually, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go like this. And then we're back to another poison. So I almost flubbed that defense because that mini P.E.K.K.A. got on the tower. But we ended up clutching up. That was a really good matchup. So well played to my opponent for applying the pressure and almost making me make a mistake. But we'll take the win. 10-0 in the global tournament. Into our next match against Ake, Ake Stick, I guess is how you say the name. I'm not sure. I don't have my bomber in hand, which would be my first choice of cards to cycle. So I'll just cycle skeletons. See if they play anything after that. And they don't, so mm, they do play the barbarians. So I might just let that go. I think I'm just going to log here. Barbarians, I feel like, are pretty good against the Dagger Duchess. Because, yep, they have to spend a lot. Or I, I will have to spend a lot to counter them. Okay, he goes like that. So I'm going to Goblin Drill. Just to apply some pressure. It'll splash on the tower and it'll splash on the healer. And I'm going to take this poison a thousand percent. Worth it, worth it. Great, great damage right off the bat. Looks like it's going to be Elixir Golem. I think our deck can do pretty well against Elixir Golem if we don't get... um. What's it called? Over, Overrun, like, right off the bat. I think we're okay. I'm pressuring here because he went in for the poison. And I'm going to poison onto the pump. Yeah, so we're going to take care of that. I had to cycle back. Oh, I want that berry to get some damage here. Beautiful berry. Beautiful berry. Just splashing onto everything. Now, this defense will be tough because we don't have poison in cycle, but we killed a lot of the counter push. I think in general, when you play against E Golem, you want to make sure that you pull the healer, like, far away from everything. So we're going to go like this. Pull away the healer. Barb's down low. I might even just go for a poison. I know he can pump up, but, like, if I don't poison here, I genuinely think I'm, I might lose my entire tower. So I think it was worth it. And then if he goes in for a pump, we can pressure with um, a drill onto the pump. Or just a drill onto the tower. So good defense. And we're very, very close to being in spell cycle range. He also, it's kind of late for him to go for a pump. So I'm just going to go in with the drill here. Nice. And he has to spend a lot just to make sure that that doesn't get any damage onto the tower. We're going to go Barry here at the bridge because it's so busted. Yep. Look at Barry go. He has to NATO everything back. And if you look, that killed the um, the knight. Oh, man. This is a tough matchup. I mean, if Golem actually is really good in general against Goblin Drill. But, I don't know. I'm going to pressure in the opposite lane, too. Because I don't want to give him... Um, what's it called? I don't want to give him value clogging up the lane that I'm already going to struggle to defend. I go like this. And then I think one Drill poison will probably take the game so i'm gonna go for it drill poison and uh ggs against golem which is a very very annoying matchup especially because the dagger duchess struggles against it but uh he just didn't defend well in single elixir so ggs we'll catch you in the next one into our next match against afshin af afshin okay He's running the Princess Tower. Always important when you're playing against your opponents to like immediate look at their immediately look at what tower troop they're running, because um, that greatly affects like a lot of the micro interactions of the game. So that's something you always want to do. Okay, I'm just gonna cycle my cards here, push that Valkyrie back, maybe get a splash on the tower. Almost okay. goes for the Mega Knight right away. We're gonna Mighty Miner super low. It'll get our King Tower activated. Beautiful. Evil Bomber here to pull this all over. Beautiful. And you can see we took, I was going to say, no damage onto our Princess Tower minus that small um, splash. So I'm going to go in with the drill here. Just let it breathe. Don't want to overcommit. Yep. Glad I didn't just go in for a naked drill poison or anything like that. I will poison now onto the witch, though. 
Yeah, maybe that's what he wanted me to do, but his deck is so weird. What the heck? Mega Knight, E Golem, Valkyrie. Okay, we're gonna go like this to pull in the balloon because I did misplace that Tesla. Log here for the Witch and the E Spirit. And easy defense. <laughs> nice. So that's why Goblin Drill is so good, dude. You can use it on defense too. It pulls in balloons, it pulls in troops. So despite misclicking that Tesla, we're fine. We'll have Evil Tesla as well. This is looking like an amazing matchup. Okay, we're gonna bury and just cycle our other cards like we're used to. I might not go in for a drill. I might just go in for an Ice Spirit. Drill in the opposite lane. Not because I expect to get a ton of damage, but, like, now he has to choose between supporting this Mega Knight or eating a ton of damage on defense. Exactly. And look, now he, he had to play that, and now our Mighty Miner gets a ton of value. I get a free poison here. I'm going to Tesla a little higher in a position that I think it'll pull the balloon. Hopefully. Um, guess I didn't, so that's my fault. King Tower gonna help out here. That's a like this. Beautiful, keeps the evil berry alive. Interesting timing with that. Um, to be completely honest, he's just gonna Mega Knight on this, I would imagine. Oh, he goes for the Firecracker. I don't think he can afford a Mega Knight. That's a ton of damage. We're gonna Tesla low like this, so that way. It'll help out with the balloon. Pressuring while defending, so that way if he goes in for a balloon, he probably won't be able to defend. We're already back to another Tesla, not that we need it. And when push came to shove, when the elixir was flowing, we just absolutely just dismantled him. So good game against Afshin. We'll catch you in the next one. All right. Currently 12 and 1. I had one tough loss that I probably won't put in the video. No one wants to see that. But 12 wins is pretty good nonetheless. Okay, he goes for a knight. I'm gonna go Goblin Drill in the opposite lane of the knight. Not support it, just wanna force out some elixir. That's an important concept to know. Sometimes when you're just playing like your win condition, you don't expect a lot from it. You're just trying to make sure that your opponent has to spend. Um, okay, he goes in with the Hog Rider, which I do need to defend extra specially. Okay, I'm gonna go like this to try and get my King Tower activated. Mm, fail. That's okay. So another Hog Earthquake. I can already tell by the way that he defended the Goblin Drill that he's like a decent Hog Earthquake player, at least from, from the looks of it. We will go in with the Goblin Drill here. Probably just play a Knight in front, so all Ice Spirit, maybe we can splash the tower. Yeah, he plays the Knight, but Goblin Drill still gets one hit on the tower. It's kind of disgusting. Look at two more shots. Just so hard to, to properly defend against, I feel like. Okay, he gives me log value there. And I'm going to go like this. I don't think he'll be ready for it. Be Ugh, look at that. That's just painful. Painful to watch, I feel like. Okay, he's going to go in here most likely. Most likely. Tesla high here. Just, I wanted to do that so if he went for the preemptive earthquake that he wouldn't hit it. And we get the King Terra activated. So this game could not have started off any better against Hog Earthquake. Well, interesting. He's going to cycle back to another Hog, or at least try to. So we're going to go like this. And it will. he will probably get a lot of damage here. Good thing we have the Mighty Miner, otherwise it'd be really hard to DPS down that, um, what's it called? DPS down that Evil Knight. I'm doing this to, oh, it's not how I thought that interaction would go, to be honest. Okay, we have an Evo Tesla in cycle, so we're gonna go like this. And then Ice Spirit onto the Firecracker, and look at Evo Tesla is fine. Kind of making it difficult, uh, for him to go in for a pre-earthquake. We survived the Evo Firecracker, we survived the Evo Knight. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. He also played that knight into um, the Evo Tesla. I think he has to go goblins on the drill, so I'm going to pre-log. Beautiful pre-log. Because he cycled his knight, I knew that was like really the only thing that he had in hand. So that was really good on us. I messed up that Tesla, unfortunately. So I want to make sure I don't take like any additional damage. So I'm going to go like this. He goes for the log, which is one of the best answers against goblin drills. So I'm going to go in here. I don't know why he played the goblins like that. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing really good in these micro interactions. Minus that one Tesla misplace placement. That was obviously problematic. Okay. Evo Knight is really, really good against the Dagger Duchess because it just eats up all those daggers. It can be kind of tough. 
Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go like this and then pop the ability. And if he plays a knight on it, I genuinely think he loses because we can go for like an evil berry. Okay, that's what I think we're gonna do here. I don't even know if we need it. We can just poison. Good game. So easy, easy dub against Hog EQ. He was actually a pretty decent player, but it's just such a bad matchup. So GG's, another win. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, into our last game against Kamikaze. We've had a few tough losses. I lost to Lava Hound. I lost to Golem. Um, definitely some of the harder matchups. I'm sure a better drill player would win those, but uh, I did struggle with those. I'm going to cycle a log. I would have cycled an Ice Spirit if I had a Goblin Drill next in cycle, uh, but we didn't. Okay, going to cycle a Mighty Miner here. Hope I don't regret it if he has like a P.E.K.K.A. or something. Fisherman's interesting. See a ton of that. I'm going to Goblin Drill here, and then I can pop the ability, and it should hit the tower, I think. Okay, he's definitely running. I think it's like a balloon deck. Yeah, it's the, a balloon deck. Like a thousand percent. So, we're going to bury here. And then I'm going to go for a high Tesla here. Do I need to do this? I can't. No, okay. Nice, nice, nice. So it is, it's Lumber Loon. I think it has recruits as well. I'm just going to let this go. I think I'm down a teeny bit of elixir, so I don't want to overcommit, especially if he plays recruits. Um, that's like not a position you want to find yourself in. Yeah, there are the recruits. I was like, I know they're coming. Evil Bomber down low. We'll take care of most of this. And since he doesn't have uh, recruits in hand now, I might go in. Because he doesn't have uh, archers trying to think nice. perfect 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 dagger duchess will clean up all of that so this matchup a lot better than a lot of the beatdown matchups i've been getting so i think we're gonna be okay obviously there are things that they can do to to outplay um but i think we're gonna be in a good a good spot matchup wise number jack does pretty good against the drill but it doesn't matter that much bomber just to help out here then tesla to pull in that Oh, I sh did I need that? I'm not sure if I did. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. I might get... If he goes for recruits... No, he doesn't. Okay. Okay, he does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Evo Bomber low. Just because I want it to, like, stay alive. Yeah, good good snowball by him. That was really smart. I'm not even going to lie. I need a Bomber here for this Archer. Otherwise, it's going to get a ton of damage. It still will get a ton of damage. Oh, man. I didn't mean to pull that balloon back at all. But that's fine with me. Going to let the Dagger Duchess recharge. And it's going to stay up. And now we're almost at the point where we can just start, like, spamming drills. And uh, it, it will be hard for him to deal with. Almost. Good defense. Could poison that. I'm not going to. I'm just going to take the log. Those Tesla on that side, I, I respect that. Really good Ice Spirit and really good Tesla placement, so that way the other t uh, tower targeted it as well. He's playing really, really well, I'm not gonna lie. Pressuring when the Dagger Duchess is low is really, really smart. Ice Spirit here to help out on defense. Okay. I didn't even see how much damage we got, but it, it is a ton of damage, so I think I'm just going to go in. Pop the Mighty Miner ability here. And then I think if I go for a Poison, that this just takes the tower. So I'm going to do it. And that's a good game. Really good matchup for us, but we also played it well. We didn't ch choke, so GG's to Kamikaze. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, into our next match here against JT, JT Modox. He's running the Dagger Duchess. I feel like most people in the tournament, when you get higher up, are running the Dagger Duchess, so... Not surprised by any means. I'm going to drop the, the berry in the back. He plays a musky. Interesting. I'm going to just pressure here just because he leaked a little bit at the beginning. Uh, and I can get a cheap defense on that mus musketeer. Interesting. Interesting. His deck already has some cards that I'm not super used to seeing at like a high level anyways. Oh. Oh. That was worth the log. <laughs> I wasn't an entirely sure what I wanted to do there. Oop. 
Oops. Oops. Okay, we're, we're all good. His deck is quite unorthodox. Pretty expensive as well. He has Musketeer, he has Dragon, he has Baby Dragon. He has a lot of stuff that is just expensive. He's gonna... Here's what we're gonna do. Thank you. He said good luck. I agree, Golem is a pretty bad matchup, so... I'm gonna go like this with the Mighty Miner, and then Tesla. Good uh, mini P.E.K.K.A by him, honestly. That was very, very well played. But Tesla will help out with that mini P.E.K.K.A now. Nice, and he was saying good luck because Golem is really, really good against my deck specifically. Um, you really need to protect your Mighty Miner because it's hard for you to damage down the Golem. So you need to rely on that Mighty Miner to help damage down the Golem. Otherwise, you're just going to get ran. Okay, it's important that we do get this early damage. And that, like I said, I don't cycle my Mighty Miner. Otherwise, I'm just... Oh, well played. He's going to force out my Mighty Miner here on defense. That's what I don't want to do. But we can get back to another one. I like the idea of his pre-log there. He thought I was going to play Skeletons. I'm really glad that I didn't, obviously, but that was his thought, which I respect. Okay, I'm going to pressure here. I just want to keep forcing out Elixir, like, so that he can't go for, like, a giant golden push. And we're going to have Evil Tesla in, in cycle soon. Okay, he goes for the Baby Dragon. And that's almost poison range for us, so that's really awesome. Mighty Money here just... Oh, I think that was a bad use of the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Because he kind of needs the Mini P.E.K.K.A. to DPS down our um uh mighty miner at least i think so nice good poison value and i'm gonna pressure here that muskie is taken care of and what for what is like a bad matchup uh we actually just destroyed this guy he didn't play it that well you can see at the beginning he was spamming he was like good luck good luck because like he probably steamrolled a lot of drill players but we kind of just dismantled him, which is nice. Like I said, this deck has a lot of outplay potential, so GG's to this Golem player. We'll catch you in the next one. All right, into our next game here against Manny, the champion. Already, I notice he's running the Cannoneer Tower, which is what I like to see. Okay. He cycles a Knight. We're just going to cycle Skeletons. And I'll cycle an Ice Spirit as well. And I'll cycle a Goblin Drill, like, away from that flying machine. Hmm. Looks like he's running, like, Lava Hound or something. I don't know for sure. That's just kind of what it looks like. Or Golem or something like that. I think Ice Spirit will force out another card from him. Yeah, nice. It forced out the Miner. His deck is so weird, actually. Hmm. Barbarians, Miner. No, it is Lava. Never mind. I was going to say, yeah, it's just Lava Hound. Okay, we're going to drill in the opposite lane because I don't want his counter push coming into the same lane. Lava Hound is a really bad matchup. I've lost two of my tournament matches just straight up to Lava Hound. Um, so I don't know if that will change anytime today. We're going to go like this. Try and get damage while we can. And also, I want him to panic and like spend Elixir. He wisely does not, though. I think that was very well played. He didn't panic. Instead, he just supported his Lava Hound, which is definitely the right play. Okay, I think that that poison was smart, though. Okay, we're going to go like this. Bury here. Oh, that miner was so smart. That miner was so smart. No, because I was going to pop the mighty miner ability. And he pulled the mighty miner back. Well played, well played. That was so smart. I, the mighty miner bomb was going to clean up everything. But he pulled it back with that miner. That was so well played. So incredibly well played. I'm going to poison here just to... I was going to have to spin on these barbs anyway. And, um, looks like, he, looks like it's gonna be three losses to Lava Hound, most likely, which sucks. I'm gonna bury here, because I do need to get damage on this tower. Oh, we didn't even hit the tower. Oh, boy. Alright, well. Probably GG's, but I'm not gonna give up yet. But, like I said, it's probably GG's. <laughs> Hopefully he gives us poison value here. Nice, that went in front, that's huge. That's really, really huge. I'm going to hit the tower as well. I'm going to go like this to uh, protect my Tesla. That is... Oh. Barry here. What? Dude, my Barry lineups are so bad.
Yeah, we lost. <laughs> like, for sure, right here. But I'm trying, Chad. I'm trying. Yeah, holy moly. This is definitely the Achilles heel of uh, Dagger Duchess, is like beat down decks like this. So, good game to my opponent. He played well. He also outplayed me, like, and made a lot of mistakes. So, nice job, Manny. Good luck in the tournament. We'll go ahead and catch y'all in the outro. That's going to do it for today's video. 15 wins in the tournament. Not bad, not great. I feel like a lot of the losses, three of them were to Lava Hound, one was to Golem, uh, and then one was to Apeko which is a really good matchup, and I kind of choked it. So I had a lot of fun playing with this deck. This is the deck one more time in case you want to take a screenshot and try it for yourself. It's so much fun. It's very well-rounded, I promise. It's an easy 10 wins, and then after that, it's kind of up to your skill, skill level. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in another video real soon.